Um, at this uh, time of the agenda, I would like to um, let everybody know that we're going to um, acknowledge our high school marching band. And I'm going to say to you, Chris, I watch that performance over and over, and every time I watch it, I cry. They're so good. They did such a good job. So I'm really excited to be part of this tonight. Um, to start the festivities, I'd like to introduce Mr. Chuck Winarski. Mm. Hi, Chuck Winarski, um, president of the Amherst Athletic Association. With that job comes, uh, I run two concession stands. Um, the other concession stands are run by uh, the choir, uh, Mr. Scaladin. Um, in recognition of the, the great job the marching band has done this year, uh, we just want to give a little tip of the cap. If you're familiar with walking tacos, um, we both agreed to officially change the name to Marching Tacos. Hey. And after we get done with the presentation, you're more than invited to come up and sample. So be the first to have a marching taco. <laughs> <laughs> Um, at this point in the meeting, I would like Mr. Winarski and Mayor Dave Taylor to come forward. And would you like, um, I'm sorry, Mark? Wait, yeah. Um, and Ms. Perry and Mr. Barbero. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I want to thank Chuck and Valerie and Steve for inviting me to this uh, great recognition. It's really to have some good news for a change. And the band amplifies the fact that uh, we've got class, we've got achievement, and we've got a lot of proud people in the city of Amherst because of the band. Um, I want to thank Chuck for giving me some information regarding the proclamation I'm going to read. So if it's some of this stuff is wrong, you can blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whereas on September 27th, the Amherst Marching Comet performed with the Pride at the Rock of and Roll Hall of Fame, and which was carried live by Cleveland Television Station 578, reflecting positively on the exempted school village of Amherst and the city of Amherst. Whereas on the afternoon of September 28th, 2013, the Amherst Marching Comets are in first place in a 10-band competition in Akron. Best of Class A AA Music, Best of Class A AA General Effect, and OMEA rating of one superior. And whereas on the evening of October 12, 2013, the Amherst Marching Comets are in first place in the 10-band competition at Norton. Best of Class A AA Visual Effect, Best of Class A AA General Effect, Best of Show Visual Effects, Best of Show General Effect, First Place in Class AA, Awarded Grand Champion of the Event and Earned an OMEA Rating of One Superior. I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas on the evening of November 2nd, 2013, Cameras Marching Comets earned an OMEA Rating of One Superior at the EOM state Champ competition making the, the ninth consecutive year in which the city was an award and something only 14 AA schools have accomplished in the state of Ohio. Whereas the Amherst Mommy Com Comets tra traveled to Florida to perform at Universal Studio and Disney's Magic Kingdom in March of 2013 have delighted Amherst residents by performing in the 2013 Memorial Day Parade, Homecoming Parade, Halloween Parade and represent the Amherst ex Exempted School District at nine 2013 Ohio High School football games. Now, <coughs> therefore, I, David A. Taylor, as Mayor of the City of Amherst, on behalf of our fine community, celebrate the accomplishments of Amherst Marching Comets. We salute their efforts, promoting a positive image by declaring November 19, 2013 as Amherst Marching Comet Day. David A. Taylor, Mayor. Congratulations.
congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Did you get it started? All right. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Wait, you're not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. The mayor brought 130 copies of the proclamation oh, awesome. for you to hand out to the students. Oh. Yes, please. So everybody can have one of those. And on behalf of the Amherst Board of Education, me, President, <laughs> I am presenting you guys with an enlarged photo that we would like to hang at the high school with a copy of the proclamation next to it oh, so all awesome. the kids in the school can see it. That's awesome. That's great. Thank and you. now, if you'd like to say oh, a few words, yeah, Mr. Barbero. Yes, I would, I would like to thank the Board of Education, Steve Sayers, uh, for inviting us out here today. I also want to thank Christy Perry. She's uh, my assistant, and I uh, couldn't do this without her. Uh, she is the, we always joke around, a better looking, but female. <laughs> <laughs> better looking. Um, I want to thank my wife for putting up with all the hours that I have to do for marching band. And uh, thank the students. There's a lot of students here. Yes. I'll tell you what, when, when we picked the I Believe show in the spring of last year, and I told them that we would be singing on the field, uh, you should have seen the look they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it truly was a show that, you know, we put it together, but this year was something special with them. They really made, made it happen. So I, we were surrounded by some great parents. Uh, Chuck, Chuck Winarski, our band booster parents. Kevin Breen's back there. He was also. Kevin, stand up, please. <laughs> Many of the other volunteers uh, was at every game, every performance, going out, going off ahead and getting the U-Haul truck, loading the U-Haul truck by the time we got to school, was the last one to uh, uh, drop it off at the U-Haul place at midnight sometimes. Just a lot of great parents. The Bamboosters, I want to thank the Bamboosters for that and thank the seniors as well. Uh, it's, it's great to be a part of the Amherst community. It's great to be a part of this and even get this proclamation. You know, there's so many positive things happening now uh, with... Uh, um, being supportive of all the groups. Uh, lots of stories out there, including this week was the Bands of America National Championships at uh, Indianapolis Colts at uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. And there's even stories coming out there where whole football teams from high schools were getting in buses and going on Saturday to watch their bands perform. And we're happy to announce that several bands from the state of Ohio won Grand National Championships uh, this weekend at uh, BOA. So thank you very much for having us. Thank you very much. We're there. Thank you very much for the proclamation and the pictures. We really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you very much. We have one more thing. Um, Mr. Mark Kelly wanted to present something to you guys from the football team. Yeah, I, watching that, Chris knows that for the last 16 years I haven't seen a halftime performance because I'm always in a locker room. But uh, you know, when I watch things like that, it just it, you guys do a wonderful job, and you two up here do a wonderful job. And Oddly enough, uh, Chris has known my younger sister longer than he's known me. Uh, they go back and uh, she's a, a band director herself. And so I've always paid attention to the bands. I live on Sunrise Drive and, uh, you know, in the summer when you guys are putting in your hell week, I actually <laughs> enjoy it. You know, I, I'm enjoying it more than you guys are because I'm in the shade with an iced tea and I'm listening to you. But um, I just want to say thank you. Um, over the course of 16 years, been a lot of wins and some struggle times, and and through each and every game, we always hear the band. Okay, I hear you at the national anthem as I'm working my way up to the uh, press box or sidelines, and your your post game show, and I thoroughly enjoy every bit of it. And I don't have anything to that magnitude to uh, commemorate this, but I'd I'd like to give you a game ball, Chris, and thank you for your. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say on behalf of the school district, our, our students and staff, and uh, Mr. Barbero, Mrs. Perry, band parents, uh, members of the band, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, your efforts are very much appreciated. You are a source of school and community pride. And uh, whether it's participating in a Friday night football game with a halftime performance or a Saturday night uh, band competition or a community parade, uh, these are just tremendous things and you do a tremendous job and uh, we just want to say thank you. And uh, we look forward to many great performances in the future. So thank you, thank you again so much. And we much. appreciate everybody being here. <laughs> thank you.
Mr. Winarski serving marching time. Yes, I will. <laughs>